Is your voice type important for singing high notes? If you have a low voice, listen up. You see, a lot of the times, we say things like, oh, I'm born with a low voice, and therefore, I can't sing high notes. I'm a bass, I'm a baritone, I'm an alto, I'm a mezzo-soprano, I'm not a tenor, I'm not a soprano, therefore, I can't sing high notes. Is it really true? By the end of this video, you understand why not only do low voices have the capability and the ability to sing high notes. In fact, low voices, low and big voices, they have the advantage over tenors and sopranos when it comes to singing a certain type of high note. First of all, before I even continue, let's first understand why does all these terms that even exist in the first place? You see, they exist for a very good reason. In the choir, that's how they allocate singers to different parts and different melody, different harmonies of the song. The bass sing the low notes, the tenor sing the melody, the baritone sings the melody in a lower octave maybe, and then the alto sings harmony, and then soprano gets the higher melody or so on. The reason why they do that in the choir is so that blending the voices becomes easier. Because all choir singers, they know this. The only way for a choir, the entire choir to sound good as a whole is to make sure that everyone's voice are blending well. Because in choir, it is not about solo sport, it's about team collaboration, a team event. So you need everyone's voice to blend. And the only way for the voice to blend well is to make sure that most people, if not everyone, is singing in their most comfortable range. And some people, they, their natural comfortable range are the lower notes. And whereas for other people, their natural comfortable range is maybe medium or even higher notes. And so if your voice naturally lies in that region, then you would have to push a lot to get that note. And when you feel easy while singing, chances are you have the ability to blend much better. And hence, you're grouped into different categories of singers. The biggest mistake you can make as a singer who have crossed over from choir singing into pop singing is thinking that the voice type that you are given is your vocal range. If you're not even a choir singer, then I don't know why the fuck are you even thinking about tenor, baritone, bass. Just because everyone is using these terms. It doesn't mean that you have to categorize yourself in one of the category. That's not how things work. If you're not a choir singer, I want you to forget about all these terms from today onwards. They don't fucking matter at all. Now, if you're a choir singer, then you are told that, for example, you are a baritone. Most of the time, you're thinking that if I'm a baritone or, I'm, or if I'm a bass, then I can't sing high notes. But listen to me. Telling yourself that is the biggest lie an excuse that you can give yourself to deprive yourself from being able to sing the high notes that you deserve to sing. And it will prevent you from achieving your fullest potential as a singer when it comes to singing your high notes. Regardless whether if you are a bass, you are a baritone, you are an alto, you are a mezzo-soprano, you can sing high notes as well. And I'm not talking about high notes like the falsetto or the hip voice. I'm talking about actual full voice, high notes, mixed voice, full voice, high notes, even belting high notes. Now, to show you what I mean, let's play a game. When I finish this sentence, you're going to comment down below the top three singers that comes to your mind. Singers with a low voice. Go. You done that? Okay, now it's time that I try to do some mind reading. If you named some male pop singers, you probably said Louis Capaldi, James Arthur, Justin Bieber after puberty, or Hosea, right? It might be other male singers as well, but that was the few that pop out into my mind first. And if you named female pop singers, you are probably thinking Taylor Swift, Selena Gomez, or Miley Cyrus. Comment down below, am I right, am I wrong? And tell me what are the singers that came to your mind. I'm really, really curious. All these supposedly low and big voice singers, 
that you mentioned, they can actually sing high notes, like really high notes, very well. Just take a look at all these examples. So, as you can see, it doesn't matter if you have a low voice, you can still sing high notes. In fact, you can sing a type of high notes that some tenors cannot do. What do I mean? Do you realize when James Arthur, Louis Capaldi, when those bass and baritone singers, when they sing their high notes, their high notes, when they belt it out, it sounds much more chesty than let's say Jason Mraz or Bruno Mars or Shawn Mendes. Notice that for Bruno Mars and Jason Mraz, their high notes, it's in a mixed voice, but it is not as chesty sounding. It is what a lot of you will say it is a balanced mix versus James Arthur and Louis Capaldi. They have the ability to go into a really chesty mix, which sounds exactly, exactly like a chest voice. You see, that is actually something that light tenors like myself, I'm jealous of. I wish I have those kind of thick vocal cords that bass and baritone have. When I'm stretching them, I still have enough mass to create that kind of heavy and chesty, the really, really chesty kind of high full voice. Whereas if you look at Bruno Mars and Jason Mraz, they can sing really high, it's true. But if you notice their high notes, it doesn't sound really very chesty, like what Luis Capaldi and James Arthur can do. And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying who is better here. All these singers, they are famous and they are great singers. They have their own signature dish, their own signature flavors to bring to the table. But my point here is low voiced singers, you need to stop making excuses for yourself because trust me when I say this, you guys can sing high notes, sing a kind of strong and chesty high notes that a lot of light voices, light and high voices, like a typical light tenor and a light soprano, they can't do that, but you can, and that is actually your advantage. It is about how you can maintain a high placement and compress into the high placement, so that even though you have a low voice, you can still sing high notes, like the way all those examples I've shown you. And in fact, sometimes I wish I, I had a lower voice because we all know this. To increase our upper range is much simpler because like I talk about high complete mixed voice placement, I have a solution to that. But till today, I've not found a solution to increasing my lower range. The lowest note that I can hit comfortably is about like a G2, G sharp two, A2, that is the lowest lowest I can possibly go to comfortably as a tenor. Sometimes I really wish I can hit lower notes as a guy. So think about it, you see, we can say that the grass is always greener on the other side. Bass and baritones wants to become a tenor, they want that high range. And, and I'm telling you that it can be done. If you know how to increase a low range, comment down in the comment section below as well. I'm curious because I've not found a way to do it. But if you are low voice and are watching this to increase your high range, First, access your high placement and then everything else will come naturally. Your high notes will come so naturally. Now, if you've watched up to this point of the video, I'm going to share with you something else. And this might blow your mind away, especially if you think you are a low voice singer or rather you can't sing high notes. So storytelling time. When I was 14 years old, I joined my school's choir. When I went in, the teacher was just playing some scales on the piano and she told me to sing. And then I sang, do re mi. And then she looked at me and she said, okay, uh, you will be a baritone. You will sing the baritone parts. And then I'm like, okay, sure. For the next few weeks, I sang in a really a really really comfortable range. There wasn't a lot of low notes like what a bass need to do. At the same time, there wasn't any high notes for me to sing either. If you can hear from my song covers or if you can hear from my speaking voice, you can hear from my demonstrations that I've been doing, you know that I'm a tenor. You can hear it clearly from my voice. And in fact, I've reviewed just now, my lowest note is a A2. I got to be a tenor. So I am indeed a tenor, but guess what? They put me as a baritone. 
simply because during the audition, when I'm trying to sing those high notes, I couldn't reach those high notes. I struggled to hit those high notes. And today I understand why. The reason is because I'm stuck in a low placement back then. And understand this, if you think you have a low voice, if you think that you can't sing high notes because you have a low voice, unless you can sing really, really, really low notes. I'm talking about singing notes in the low second octave and in the first octave. If you can't do that, chances are you are not a bass or baritone. You are just a tenor who is stuck in a low placement. And that is why you feel that you have a very limited vocal range. You can't sing really low notes. At the same time, you can't sing high notes either. Now I'm gonna repeat it again. You are a tenor or a soprano stuck in a low placement. And listen carefully. You have the perfect vocal cords to sing those beautiful high notes. But the only reason you're not able to do it is because you're stuck in a low placement. The moment you can switch to a high, complete, mixed voice, vocal placement, and you sing your high notes in that high placement, you'll be like, wow, I'm actually a tenor. You'll be surprised. So for me, the way I look at it is very simple. Can you hit those low notes? Those really low notes. If you can't sing high notes, and you also, at the same time, you can't sing those really low notes. You are not a bass or baritone. You're not an alto or mezzo-soprano. You are just a tenor or a soprano stuck in your low placement. So if you want to sing those beautiful high notes that you know you deserve to sing, that you belong to as a tenor and a soprano, then access your high, complete, mixed voice, vocal placement and follow the link in the description box below and find out how. So to wrap this all up, is your voice type important for you to sing high notes? I'll say to a very small certain extent, yes. But by and large, most of the time, when we say that we have low voice and therefore we can't sing high notes, it is nothing more than just an excuse. An excuse that it prevents us, it takes away from us the ability for us to sing those beautiful high notes that we want to sing and that we know we deserve to sing, but because we are stuck at a low placement. Now, if you are bass and baritone, same thing. If you are stuck at a low placement, you might not be able to sing your high notes, but if you can switch to the high placement, like what? Luis Capaldi, James Arthur, all those previous examples. If you can do what they are doing, then you can access your high placement. Then you can sing your high notes just like them. There's no excuses. So look, if you're a choir singer, now you know that you hold the secret in your hand that is going to allow you to sing those high notes even though you are being placed in a low voice category in the choir. You now own and possess this power to be able to belt and sing those beautiful high notes. Don't get me wrong, if you wanna blend in in a choir, you can still do so. But I hope you have just understood that you now actually have the key to cross over and be a solo pop singer. If you have always wanted to be able to sing in a band, to sing in a smaller group, to sing as a solo artist, understand that even if, you have, even if you have a low voice, you can do it and you hold that secret and power in your hands now that you have finished watching this video. So if you want to access this high, complete, mixed voice vocal placement. Follow the link in the description box below and discover how. Hey, my name is JJ. Stop thinking that your voice type affects your high notes and start doing what it takes to access your high placement. And I'll see you in my next video.